Hey, what's up? My name is Justin and welcome back to the Zero to Mastery YouTube channel where we teach you how to go from zero to mastery in the tech industry. Today, we are going to be talking about how to become a front-end web developer so that you can make awesome pages like this. Oh no, I'm sorry, I meant like this. But besides making awesome web pages, why else should you become a front-end web developer? Well, number one, I think now more than ever, there are resources to become a front-end web developer and that these resources are really high quality. So the path to becoming a front-end web developer is not as hard as it used to be. Second, front-end web developers are still highly needed. Even at the world's largest companies, such as Amazon, Apple, Google, these companies are still hiring front-end web developers. And these starting salaries can start at $150,000 plus. And even at normal sized companies, the need for good software engineers are still high in demand and the salary ranges I would still say are quite high. And finally, the last thing in my opinion is that being a front end web developer means that you actually get to have a visible impact on your work. You actually get to see visibly what are you making, what are you changing and how the clients interact with it. So that's why in summary, I think now more than ever, it's a great time to become a front end web developer. But let's get started into the main part of the video. How do you actually get there? And I think there's going to be three main things that I'm going to talk about in this video today. I think the first thing is going to be the fundamentals of what you're going to need to become a front-end web developer. The second thing is going to be about how do you choose an advanced framework after you've learned your fundamentals. And the third thing is going to be a recommended path to get there. So I'm going to actually recommend at the end of the video some resources and some paths in order to get there. And I'm also going to link things down below in the description so that you can refer to it outside of this video. So first things first, it's going to be all about the fundamentals, which is that you need to learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And I cannot emphasize how important it is to learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. This is the bread and butter of becoming a front-end web developer. So what actually are these three things? Well, HTML is what actually gets shown on the web page. So all the text, all the buttons gets fine through HTML. The second thing is CSS. CSS is actually what styles the web page. And it's the difference between a web page looking like this and looking like this. And finally, JavaScript. It's the logic of the web page. So whenever you click a button, you purchase something, it gets added to the cart. That is all tracked through something called JavaScript. And so these three things, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, is really what builds up the fundamentals of becoming a front-end web developer. And I'm going to emphasize this again, you really need to know this in depth. I find that a lot of people start learning HTML, CSS, JavaScript, they learn it to a basic level, and then they're like, okay, I'm done. And then two years later, they still realize, wow, I'm still not a front-end web developer because they didn't actually have the fundamentals set and well learned. If you don't take your time to really learn these fundamentals, it's going to come back and bite you later on. You're going to have to relearn it and you're going to struggle as you try to learn more advanced parts of becoming a front-end web developer because you didn't have these fundamentals in place and these more advanced frameworks rely on the fundamentals. The second part of the video is that after you actually learn the fundamentals, you need to choose an advanced framework, which really there are three main competitors right now, which is one, Angular, two, React, and three, View. So at least at the time of this video, React is the number one framework. It is the most widely used, it is the most popular, and it is also one of the most hired for frameworks. But I'm not saying that the other two frameworks are bad. These other two frameworks are still widely used at some of the world's largest companies. And actually, oftentimes, even in the same company, they might be using two different frameworks. I know, for example, at Amazon, while most teams use React, my team actually uses Vue. So it actually doesn't really matter what framework you end up choosing, as long as you choose one that you think is best suited to you. But I am going to say that React tends to be the more popular choice just because of the job opportunities out there and the more widespread nature of it. But really the point of the framework is really just to be able to write HTML, CSS, and JavaScript in a more efficient manner in a way where teams can build a web page together and in order to have a better way to manage more complex front-end applications, especially in a world where our web applications are getting just more and more and more complex every day, just like, for example, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, etc. And now, finally, for the third and last part of the video, it's going to be my recommended path. And by the way, feel free to change the path to however you want. There are great and free resources out there 
in order to take advantage of. And if you want to go ahead and use those, but base it off of my roadmap, feel free to do so. And by the way, make sure to check down below in the description for a specific guide on all of this where I'm going to link it all together. So the first thing that I'm going to recommend is going to be watching our complete web developer guide from our own academy. And I'm going to specifically say, first, just watch the HTML through the JavaScript portion, including things like the DOM manipulation, etc. And the reason why I'm going to recommend this is because it's going to help give you an overview of the very basics of being what a web developer is like. Now, after you finish watching that, then I actually recommend to go and watch some courses specifically in depth that's going to bring those topics to a much more advanced nature. So specifically for the HTML and CSS section, I recommend watching from two other instructors that I actually learned from, which is either Maximilian and his CSS course or Brad Traversy at his HTML and CSS course. Both of them will do a really good job going much more in depth for HTML and CSS. Then after that, I highly recommend to watch our advanced JavaScript course from our own academy, because then the advanced JavaScript course will go much more in depth about all the other wonky parts about JavaScript. And I personally really wish that I knew a bit more about JavaScript before going in, because even though I had a bit of a programming background, I still found JavaScript a bit wonky with this behavior sometimes. And it really made sense to me after I watched the advanced JavaScript course from our own academy. So now that you watched the complete web developer, the introduction parts about HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and you've watched a specific course on HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, I highly recommend you to take some time and go off and do like at least three projects by yourself. And the reason why I recommend this is because a lot of times people get stuck in what's called tutorial hell, where essentially because the tutorials tell you all the answers from front to end, it becomes so easy to just keep watching them over and over and over again. But you wanna make sure that you don't do that. Instead, make sure to take some time, go off and do your own project, and make sure that you can actually take independent action while building a project for yourself. So now that you're done learning the fundamentals, I recommend to watch the rest of the complete web developer course. So it's going to teach you about React and it's going to bring you to a beginner to intermediate stage of a React developer. And it's going to teach you the rest of building an ecosystem of a web app, such as backend and database. I will finally then recommend to finish it off by watching the React course from our own academy once again, because the React course will bring you from that beginner intermediate stage all the way to the advanced stage of becoming a React developer, but also teaching you all the surrounding tools in the ecosystem of being a front-end developer, which is super important because it's not just a framework, but it's also what kind of ecosystem has been built around it. So anyways, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell, and leave a comment down below. I would love to know any questions, concerns, or anything that you might have, and I will do my best to answer it. And also make sure to leave below what you would like to see in the future upcoming video. Anyways, see you guys next time and make sure to check out some of our other videos if you're interested. Bye.